Hey guys, so June is fast approaching, May is wrapping up. Um, I'm getting ready to do my June TBR, so I figured today I would share with you all the books that I'm going to read in June. I will be doing my wrap up video for May next week, which will have all my reviews on the different books that I read throughout that month. But right now we're going to go through the books that I'm going to read in the upcoming month. So this month I'm doing a couple of buddy reads. I'm pretty excited for these. Um, one of them I'm doing with two different YouTubers, which I will link in the description below. One of those booktubers is named Amanda, and she lives in the Pacific Northwest, so she's going to join us on this. I actually found out that she was reading the book that we're going to be reading, and reached out to her and asked her if she wanted to join me and another YouTuber who were already doing it, and she was happy to oblige, so she's going to be joining us. The other book tour that's going to be joining me in this buddy read is Amber from Books of Amber. Um, she's UK based. I saw in one of her TBRs that she also had this book coming up. So I asked her if she wanted to buddy read it with me and she said yes. So we're doing kind of like a trio buddy read. The book that the three of us are going to be reading and which I recently purchased when I was over in the UK is Five Feet Apart. Um, this is a really short read. It's only about 250 pages. There's also a movie that came out about it recently, so I'm excited to get through this read so that I can go see the movie because I've been holding off on that. Um, I feel like it's going to be very similar to The Fault in Our Stars. I really liked that book and I really liked that movie. So I'm excited to read this one and see how it goes. Also, it's a buddy read so we can talk about it as we're going through the book. And I think it's going to be very hard for me to contain myself in actually not reading all the way through all at once because I feel like this is one of the books where I can just sit down and read the whole thing so I'm gonna have to pace it out to stay at the same spot with um, the two girls that I'm buddy reading with and also I really love this cover it's like one of my favorite book covers of new books that I've acquired <laughs> the other buddy read I'm doing is with Marcus we're both going to be reading The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon uh, I'm really excited to read this one because I saw the movie coming out for it as well, so I kind of, well I think the movie's already out now, but I want to read this book and see how I feel about it before I go see the movie. I also have read, um, it's on the back, I've read Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, and I really enjoyed that book. It was very light-hearted and easy to get through. I think that this book will be very similar to that. So I'm excited to see how it goes. So far as I know, it's about a girl that is very analytical and sciencey and kind of like lives by facts. And then she meets this guy who is like very to the books as well. Uh, always went by his parents' rules, kind of trying to be the model son. And from there, they kind of spark a romance is from what I've gathered. Uh, I also think that she's being deported or her family's being deported back to their um, home country of Jamaica and she meets this guy I think on her last day there so it'll be interesting to see how their relationship develops and what happens with the story. I kind of feel like this is going to be an insta-love book which I'm not opposed to. I mean some insta-love books are okay so we'll see what happens and go from there. Another book I'm reading this month which I've been meaning to get to for a very long time but I haven't and I feel bad about it but I'm finally getting to it is A World So Small by Cameron Dreamshare. Now this is a book that was given to me to read by my friend. It's his sister that actually is the author of this book. So I'm really excited to see what she came up with in this world. Um, I honestly don't know very much about this book at all. It's completely new to me. I know that there is some bisexual representation in this book, so I'm excited to see that. Um, I think it might be a little bit of fantasy or like dystopian, but I'm not sure. Like I honestly said, I don't know very much about it. And the blurb on the back is very small, so <laughs> it doesn't really give you anything. So this is one that I'm really looking forward to. I hope I like it because I want to talk to my friend's sister about it and be like, yeah, I loved your book. So let's, let's hope that I love it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been meaning to get, this, get to this for a long time and I'm finally getting around to it, so I'm excited on that. Also, she told me it gets a little spicy in this book, so... That will be interesting. 
I've had some books that I've read that were kind of erotica and I did not know how to feel about that. Like, anyways, so we'll see. The fourth book that I'm going to read is actually, it's being sent to me by a publisher. They requested that I read it for them and I happily obliged. <laughs> so I've used obliged a lot in this video. I don't even say that word in, in my day to day life, so I don't know why I'm saying it now, but what can you do? So I'll show that book here. It's called Who's Got Your Back? Making and Keeping Great Friendships Among Men. Um, I really don't know what this book is about. I think it's, well, like it says in the title, I think it's about making great friendships. Uh, I believe it might be Christian based. Other than that, I don't know that much. It's, it's just the publisher reached out and said, hey, do you want to review this? And I've been working with this publisher for other books that I've reviewed, so I said, sure, why not? I'll give it a try. I think they appreciate that like I'm very honest with my reviews and let them know what I'm thinking <laughs> and I'm not one of those kind of just like yeah it was good it was okay like I will tell you how I feel <laughs> some books have sparked so much emotion in me that I don't like I just express it and you'll see <laughs> and I think that a lot of publishers actually appreciate that because they want a very honest opinion so I try my best. Now the last part of this video is pretty awesome. I created this thing called the TBR jar, which I know a lot of you guys already do. It's a great idea. Marcus had the idea to do it and we put this together um, last time I was visiting with him. And so what I'm going to do is every book that's in here are all these books on the shelves behind me. These are all my blog books that were submitted to me. And so this is kind of a, a fun way to get to the next one. Instead of like assembling my TBR pile, I just grab one from here and read it. And then I will get through them faster because it's more exciting. We also threw in some cards that are like sci-fi, fantasy, my choice. Some of these are your choice. So when it gets, when I pull out a, a your choice card, I will put up a poll for YouTubers and you guys get to vote on what book that I read that month. Um, there's only a couple in there. Most of these are actual book titles. So this is actually the first month that I'm going to do this. So let's grab our first one from the jar. They're pretty jam-packed in there because <laughs> I chose a very small jar for this and I have a lot of books. All right, I got one. Oh no, it's green. Okay, so I know that one of these books is a beastly book up there that's 700 pages and I'm very scared that this is it. So let's find out what it is and cross your fingers it's not. <laughs> Please don't be that one, please don't be that one. Oh, they're also post-it notes, they're stuck together. And this one is the Usurper King. So let's find that on the shelf. This one looks really interesting. Oh God. <laughs> okay, so, so this is my next blog read, The Usurper King by Zeb Haradan. Um, it's got bumblebees on it, and it has a very interesting cover. I don't know what to think about this. Let's give you a synopsis. Ooh. I'm also already cringing because this is the back. Can you read that? I can't. <laughs> It says, the Usurper King takes place in an alternate universe where the serial killer Ted Bundy was never apprehended and is running president in is running for president in 2016. Jim, a sufferer of a hybrid computer biological virus that causes premature aging, is trying to pay for his treatments by winning money on the game show Guts, where contestants competitively predict the future by reading animal entrails. As Jim begins to find omens in the animal entrails predicting Bundy's political victories. Side note, sorry, I'm just struggling to read these letters. The designer didn't do a very good job. He and another contestant come to discover details about Bundy's murderous past and take it upon themselves to prevent his ascent to power. Okay, so that's my book that I'm going to be reading at the end of the month. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Don't know much to say about it, but this is why I'm doing the TBR jar, so I can pick these books and I can get through them faster. 
So that's my TBR for June. Um, those are the books I'm going to be reading. There's five books in total, so hopefully I can actually get through all five. Although, I just did May's TBR, and I'm currently reading the last of five books right now, so I feel like I can manage that. Side note, do you guys judge books by their cover? Because the book that I pulled down for the blog read, I immediately judged it by its cover, and I, like, I try not to do that because sometimes when I do that, I actually read the book and it's really good and it really like captures my attention and like just keeps me engrossed in it the whole time. So I try not to do that, although after I read the summary of this one, I really don't know what's what I can say about this. Like it sounds really weird. But I just want to know, like let me know in the comments if you guys judge books by their cover, because I know that I am guilty for this, but I try not to, but I do, but if I'm at a bookstore and I see a book that's beautiful, like I just want to buy it because the cover's beautiful. And then if I see a book that the cover's kind of sketchy, then I kind of try and stay away from it. And that's another reason why I love this blog that I run so much is because I get lots of books that don't have great covers, but they surprise me. And they're just, they, some of them turn out to be great books and I'm really excited about them. So yeah, I'm just curious to see what your opinion is on that or how you feel about judging a book by its cover. As always, Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and feel free to leave some comments down below about what you think of the books that I'm going to read, or let me know what books you're reading this month. I'm interested in what everybody's reading, and I like to talk to you guys about the books. Until next time guys, bye!